ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday morning, the 25th day of June. And we're getting into the time of the year where the weather changes are typically slow and subtle. But there will be some slow changes from day to day. And let's talk about those. Let's go right to the Skycam shot early this morning. And we'll begin with the uh, Chiha Sky Cam looking right down the spine of the Talladega Mountains at 5 o'clock. Still some daylight out there, and the days are slowly beginning to get shorter now that we're past the summer solstice. There's the uh, Jasper Sky Cam looking at the uh, Walker County Courthouse. The camera there, of course, on top of the King Building. And in Demopolis, but should be a good time to be out there fishing right now. A little bit of uh, daylight. That's the view on the Tom Bigby River from the Demopolis Civic Center looking north. Well, that's a familiar sight. A big heat ridge over much of the country. The heat ridge is centered over Texas and Oklahoma. And we're kind of on the eastern edge of things. And a relatively dry air mass is in place over north Alabama. We think the chance of any one spot getting wet today will be small. There will be some showers around, but probably pretty widely scattered. And as you might expect here in late June, the better chance of any organized severe weather will be up north, uh, across parts of the High Plains states and uh, the Midwest, up into New England, places like uh, Indianapolis, Chicago, Detroit, and Pittsburgh. Buffalo, all in a slight risk of severe weather today. Tomorrow, slight risk for the upper Atlantic coast, and again, the High Plains states, and on day three, from uh, near Wichita back up to Green Bay, Wisconsin. QPF chart still not looking very optimistic there for big rains for North Alabama. In fact, this thing is showing nothing valid through Monday evening of next week. Monday evening at 7. We tend to disagree with that. We think there will be some storms along the way, but, you know, it's summer, so it's kind of a hit-and-miss proposition. This is the OZGFS at 1 o'clock today. And, of course, the prime westerlies are up on the Canadian border. We are uh, on the eastern flank of the heat bubble with a light northerly flow aloft and uh, down below that, nothing shows up. And there could be a few isolated showers out there today, but probably not very many. Tomorrow, pretty much the same deal. Saturday starting off the weekend. Pretty good looking shortwave up north on top of the ridge. And then Sunday, this upper low begins to form uh, over the upper Great Lakes. And the heights begin to come down. And uh, hopefully along the way, a pretty decent front will come in here. There's a look at Monday. And look at the trough developing over the east. That uh, pinches off that heat bubble and moves it back over to the southwestern states. Get a pretty decent uh, fresh flow aloft here. And a surface cold front on Monday should be near Interstate 20. And uh, really, it looks like on Sunday and Monday, both of those days, the chance of showers and storms will definitely increase with heat levels coming down. Maybe highs only in the upper 80s on Monday. And then Tuesday of next week, a pretty decent looking uh, trough over the east. And accordingly, uh, that pushes that surface boundary all the way down to deep south Alabama. And if this is right, the humidity value Tuesday should be lower and nights a little cooler. Did that sound good? Pretty much the same deal on Wednesday of next week. So for the moment, it looks like the uh, better chance of scattered showers and storms could be on Sunday and Monday with uh, slightly cooler and drier air following that. And we'll go out there nine more days. This is the 10th of July. That doesn't look too cool, does it? There's the... Nasty 594 bubble starting to show up over Arkansas and Oklahoma. Uh, there is a trough over the East Coast, but of course it's uh, farther north this time. And again, hopefully we'll stay on the fringe of the heat. And that looks uh, pretty typical there with some risk of scattered showers and storms. Maybe the most intense heat a little west of here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.